welcome back to this super quick pie game tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make particles with pie game. Now, this is something that um, they put. I I see there aren't a lot of tutorials on this topic, so yeah, I thought I'd make a video about how you can do it. So as you can see here, I have the super simple pie game script which I've set up. Basically, when I run this. As you can see, we just get the 600 by 600 window, and when we hit the exit button, it quits. All right, so without further ado, let's add some particles to this. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to make a particle class. So with that, we're just gonna type class, particle, and then we're gonna do a define init. And then this is going to need some attributes. So the first attribute is going to be self. The next one's going to be the X. The next one's going to be Y. And I think that's all the attributes that we need. So then we're just going to go self. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think that's all the attributes we need. So then we're going to go self.x is equal to X. Self.y is equal to Y. Okay, and there's a one or two more that we need. So we're going to need self.x underscore vel, which is short for velocity, is equal to. And now, because we want our particles to kind of have random movements when they move around and not just follow the same path every time, we're going to come up here and import the random module, which is already built into Python, if you didn't know. And we're going to set the, this velocity equal to random dot rand range between negative three and three. These numbers have worked well for me. But, and just to make sure that everything is okay and these particles are all going at the same speed, we're just gonna multiply this by five. And we're gonna do the same on the y axis. So we're gonna go self dot y underscore velocity is equal to random dot random dot rand range. And for this, we're going to go between negative 10 and negative 1. And once again, we're going to multiply by 5 to make sure that they're all going at the same speed. Okay, so now we've got this basic particle class set up. But now we need to actually draw these particles to the speed to the screen. So we're going to make a new definition. We're going to call it draw. And this is going to take in two things. It's going to take in self. And it's going to take in a window that window because everything in pi game needs a window to be drawn onto so to start this off sorry guys i just realized that there's one more um attribute that we need to define up here and that is the lifetime of our particles so each particle is going to have a lifetime just so that after a while they disappear and they don't just stay in the game so we're going to go self dot life lifetime is equal to zero. All right, so now we're gonna come down here to our draw, and the first thing we're gonna go is we're gonna self dot life time plus equals plus equals one, so that every time we draw this, and this is gonna be called 30 times a second because that's the frame rate of our game, we're gonna add one onto this. So then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna say if self dot life time is less than 20, then we're gonna draw our particle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go self.x plus equals self.x underscore vel. So, so every time we draw this, we draw we, we draw in this to the x and the y axis, and every time we draw it, the x and y axis gets, gets affected by this, so by, by this velocity. Same thing for the y, so we're gonna go self dot y plus equals self dot y underscore velocity. And then the last thing we're gonna do is draw this. So we're gonna go, and for, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using circles, but obviously you can use whatever sprites you want, or you can do a square or whatever, but for this, we're gonna use um, white circles. So we're gonna go pi game dot draw dot circle. And then here we're gonna we need to first um, 
we need, we need to first put where we want to draw this to and we want to draw it to the window. So we're just going to put window. Then we need to define a color. So the color, as I said, is going to be white. So we're going to put this in a tuple and we're going to go 255, 255, 255, which if you didn't know is the RGB value for white. Then we're going to need a position. And as I said, we're going to be drawing we're going to be drawing the circle to the to its x and y axis. So another tuple and self dot x, self dot y. Cool. And then it needs a radius, and I'm just going to put ten. All right. So now we've got our particle class basically done. So now, if I run this, nothing is going to happen because we have this particle class, but we're not calling it. So. What we need to do is we need to come down here to our main loop. This is the main loop of the game. And then we can see all we're doing here is we're filling the screen with black. 0, 0, 0 is black and we're updating the display. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for a key press because for this um, example, whenever I click Q, I want this particle system to play. So we're going to go keys is equal to pygame.key dot get underscore pressed and then we're just simply going to go if keys and then we're going to index the key so that the, we're going to index the key the key q here so we're going to go pi game dot k underscore lowercase q and then so if so that, this is basically if you don't know just checking if the q key is being pressed and down here if it is then we're going to go for, we're going to make a for loop. So currently, if we were to just to call this and like make it an instance and just draw it, this would only draw one particle. But obviously, we want to draw about 20 particles at once. So we're going to make a for loop for that. So we're going to go for x in range. And then this is how many particles we want. So as I just said, we're going to have 20. We're going to go, oh yeah, there's one more thing we have to do up here. We have to make a list. Um, so we're going to go part particles is equal to a blank list. And then down here, we're going to say particles dot append, which if you don't know, is basically adding to the list particles dot append. And what do we want to append? We want to append a particle, which is this class up here. And, and this needs the attributes, so it, it needs a X and a Y because those are the attributes here. Because these are the attributes that we, that we need to find. So we're going to put 300 by 300, which will be about the middle of the screen. Okay. Then, so currently, if, if we run this, nothing's going to happen. It's going to append all these particles, but we need to display them. So for that, we're going to come down here to where we're doing all of our display code. And under this display.fill, we are going to say for party particle underscore in particles. So we're basically saying for every particle in our list of particles, we're going to, we want to draw that particle. So we're going to go particle particle underscore dot draw and where do we want to draw it remember this takes in the attribute of a window and our windows name is display so we're going to call it we're going to put it on the display all right cool so i think we've got everything that we need so now if i run this and here we go see we've got oh whoops spelling error we should see that if I click Q, yeah, we, you can see we get this nice particle system. Now, what's really nice about this is that it's super customizable. You can get the particles acting basically however you want just by tweaking these values. So I can make, I can make these particles go a lot faster just by tweaking these values. As you can see now, the particles go a lot faster. I can tweak how many particles there are just by changing this. So I can make maybe 50 particles. That also looks pretty cool to the sides. 
So yeah, guys, this has been a super quick tutorial. I hope that you enjoy this particle system and you're able to use it in your games. Um, yeah, as I said, it's super customizable, so you can basically do make this however you want. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like and please consider subscribing. And thank you guys. I'll see you all later.